What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix one of the more annoying problems when it comes to repeating textures in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is something that especially shows up when you have objects that repeat over and over again, right? So say for example, I've got this deck that I've created and this deck is currently created with components right here, right? So if I adjust one of them, they all adjust. And so what I'm doing is I'm going into the group and I'm going to select all the faces by doing a control A and I'm going to apply a texture to it. So in this case, I'm using a knotted texture um, or a knotted timber texture from architectures. So when you do this, the problem is that this is just repeated in the same location over and over and over again, which is actually really frustrating because this doesn't look very good and you can't really adjust it because even if you were to click into the object and try to do like a position texture or something like that, because these are made of components, um, this is going to just move the texture for every single one of them. So the way that I do this is is I actually use, there's a pair of extensions that you can use. You can use one or the other. So the first is available in Sketchication. It's called Texture Randomizer from TIG. So you can download and you can install that. Or there's also an extension called Random Tools in the Extension Warehouse by Alex Schreier. So if we go to Random Tools right here, click on it. Here's random tools. So I'll show you how both of these work and then you can kind of pick which one you want. So um, I'll pop up the windows for both random tools and for, actually I don't know that the texture one from TIG actually has a menu bar or a toolbar. It has a menu bar up above. But um, what I want to do is I'm going to use this in order to randomize these textures. Now the problem with that right now is if I go through and I select all of these, what the extension is going to tell me is it's going to tell me that I need to select one face or group that has an image applied directly to the face, right? So at the moment, it's not really letting me do this. Um, same thing with texture randomizer. Um, it asks if I want to include textured faces inside of groups, and I can say yes, but then it doesn't actually do anything. So the way that I get around this is I make sure that I've got the deck modeled the way that I want it to be, and then what I have to do is I have to explode the objects. And one thing you might think about doing is you might think about taking your wood deck pieces off to the side over here like this. That way you've got a backup copy of them and you can just put them on a backup copy um, tag or something like that, right? So just I'd put them in a group. We'll just call this decking backup and that's just in case you need the component version of this because we need to explode the components in order to be able to apply this directly to surfaces. So the way that I do this is I take all of the objects in the decking group and none of them should be touching each other, right? You should have a gap in here anyway, so you shouldn't have to deal with faces merging, but you can actually take the whole thing and explode it and then right click and make it a group. So effectively what I did is I exploded out all of the components that were inside of this group. But now what that does is that gives us the ability and I'm gonna do a control A to select all, to use either random tools or texture randomizer to randomize the location of the textures. So random tools has a function off to the end called randomize texture positions. And what that's gonna do is that's just going to randomly move those around like this. So I like this one because it's easy and it's quick, right? You can see how what it does is it randomly moves the textures along the faces right here every time you click on the button. Now, if you want more control though, what you can do is you can use the texture randomizer from TIG. Okay, and so when we pop up texture randomizer, what this does is this gives us a little bit more control, right? So I can set a minimum and a maximum um, movement. So I'm gonna say move this a maximum of one foot in one direction, um, or it may leave it. It's just gonna randomize each one of these faces. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the VX and the VY. That's the X direction and the Y direction. But now if I run this, this is going to randomly move those by that amount right here. And so what that does is that gives you a little bit more more control, right? So say you wanted to just adjust this slightly, right? You could just set this to maybe like three inches in either direction and run it. Now, I don't like that one as much. I like having more of a random direction in here, but you could also use something much larger, right? Like six feet 
and then click on OK. So you could do six feet in either direction. Then there's going to be no uniformity whatsoever in the materials that are applied to the surface right here. But we could do the same thing here. So I've got all of these smaller decking pieces in here as components. So that allows me to apply the texture material to the components. And again, I might come in here and I might make a copy of those off to the side. So I'll just make them a group. I'll cut them. I'll click out of the group and I'll do an edit paste in place. And I'll just put that on the backup. Whoops. Layer as well, or tag. But then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take all of these objects. I'm going to select them. Right click and I'm going to explode them. Then I'll make them a group. And then I can just click in here with texture randomizer and just randomize where those are on the surface just like this. So this can actually be a huge time saver because trying to randomize those textures previously was very painful. And this actually looks significantly better than it looked before. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful to you, if it's something you might use. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you wanna learn more great SketchUp extensions, make sure you check out my ultimate SketchUp extensions guide at the sketchupessentials.com slash extensions. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.